uh, a website that everybody uh, should uh, uh, visit as well. And we'll uh, get that posted uh, up on the story he sent us. He sent us some amazing photos. Uh, and it's infocon.ro, just I-N-F-O-C-O-N dot R-O. Does a lot of amazing investigative uh, research uh, and reports, and he does speak pretty good English. So we're going to go to him in about four minutes, and I appreciate Paul Dorna new from Bilderberg 2010. We're getting Guardian reporters on. We're getting American Free Press reporters on. We're getting independent reporters from Romania on, these info warriors. And his photos are up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. They just went up on Prison Planet minutes ago. They may not be up on, on InfoWars yet. But I briefly wanted to go to Ted Anderson because you got gold up seven plus dollars today. Last time I checked. In fact, let me just look it up. Uh, you've got uh, gold uh, way up. You've got gold running out in Europe. Um, a lot of it running out in the U.S. And it's the weekend. And Ted told me yesterday, he said, I'm about to run out of the Franks that are priced in a market that's almost $100 lower than it is, a fifth of an ounce for $256 a piece. He's almost out of these. He's got a few other coins at the old super low price that nobody can match, literally. Uh, and uh, then it, it'll go up, and it's still a great deal. Uh, so I wanted to bring Ted up briefly on the economy, the stock market plunging over 300 points today. And just to tell people, the brokers will be there to take your order this weekend and, you know, they got a lot of other great deals as well, and collector, uh, collector coins and everything else. But specifically, these bullion deals, I certify, are the best deals I've ever heard of. The Franks and a few others he's about to offer, the silver half dollars at $9 and something apiece. These are really smoking hot deals. Ted Anderson, thanks for coming on with us. Briefly, tell people about today's coin offers. Yeah, sure. Well, right now, the Franc is currently at 256.68, which, you're, just like you said, I'm holding that price down. British sovereigns have sold out because people in Europe are so excited about buying gold with everything falling apart around them that they've just simply bought out what's available in the marketplace. And the francs are a European coin, too, so obviously that's going to be falling under the same pressure. Um, right now, the franc is the best buy at 956.68, but we do also have the U.S. Eagle and many other things. If you're into the silver, there's no question about it. Those walking Liberty halves, even if you go to the Internet right now, you'll find that they're over $10 a piece. And right now I have them at 975, so that's really a great buy. Um, just, you know... The junk silver, the, 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 you know, the clean rounds, we call them, all that stuff is a good buy right now, Alex. Everybody is becoming so familiar and so aware of the fact that the central banks are bailing out the countries. That, you know, they talk about one country bailing out another. Everybody's in trouble. Nobody's got a surplus of money. But, Ted, so you call it a good deal. No one that I've seen has silver half dollars at the price. I mean, I mean, we're not just saying this. Look it up, folks. No one has francs at two hundred and uh, you know fifty six dollars a piece that I've seen. You bought a bunch of this. You're now about to run out. You bought this stuff at almost a hundred dollars you know, lower in the market. And so any amount of tiny markup you had when you bought it then is well gone now in the swings in the market. I mean, these are really exceptional deals. If people are going to get into gold and silver, they need to take advantage of this because, uh, I mean, are your supplies of those silver half dollars and francs, are they going to last past Sunday? Well, the silver dollars are real tight. The francs, I mean, I might, I might not even be able to sell a franc after last Sunday or this Sunday coming up. I will hold it. At this point, at this dollar amount, but with gold going up over eleven dollars today, I mean we're we're talking about francs that were priced way back at one thousand one hundred and fifty. So I no, I don't think so. Oh yeah, it was it was seven dollars a few minutes ago. I'm sorry, it's up by ten fifty right now. Yeah, and of course, that's has... in the U.S. market. It's even all time records in Europe. Right, and the market is very strong. And and you know if you're sitting there with investments in other places and you're thinking, man. You know, what should I do here? I just need to tell you. I mean, the United States government right now, I mean, people usually go to the Treasury, the Treasury bills for safety and security, but the government is printing so much money that the Treasury bills aren't going to even hold value. And, and the sad part about it is, is that we can't afford to pay our bills as the government is concerned at the interest rates are at a, practically at zero. What do you think is going to happen when we have inflation and interest rates go from, you know, a half a point to say 3%. 
I mean, we're going to have to increase our budget by almost double for that. You know, the, the United States is broke. The rest of the world is broke. There's no way that we're going to get out of this thing unscathed. And you need to be getting into gold and silver. And period. as we said, as the general public starts to figure out gold and silver are the place to be, uh, all uh, the common sense. I mean, I believe it's going to go way up, but I don't even buy it as an investment looking for that. I'm buying it as something I know. Wh what do pirates have? What do governments have? You know, what do uh, criminals have? I mean, what does anybody who's down on the street, who's smart, street smart, you want the loot. You want the loot, ladies and gentlemen. You want the booty. You want, you don't want a bunch of paper with old dead white guys on it. You want to have the gold and silver. Here's the number, 800 686 2237 800 686 2237 and the brokers are going to be there till late tonight to take your calls if if you call and they're not there leave your name and number they'll call you back in the morning uh and this is only running till midnight Sunday evening 800 686 2237 they've got a lot of other great deals but the half dollar silver the fifth of an ounce gold francs those are the deals that you get the Alex Jones special on that I can guarantee from my research is as good as it gets or even better uh 800 686 2237 uh, and again, I just hope that people call and the brokers will be there uh, throughout the weekend, 800-686-2237. Ted Anderson, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Alex. You bet. Okay, we've had continual Bilderberg Group coverage because this is uh, one of the most powerful organizations in the world. Jim Tucker joined us, who has actual Bilderberg Group contacts uh, inside the organization uh, in, the, in the management level. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Not Well, I'm going to shut up. The point is, uh, is that... You can set your watch and warrant by what he says, uh, and because he's been right. One year before the Berlin Wall, he predicted it uh, that they were going to stage it. He's, he he told he said March of '03, not not '02, for the attack on Iraq. Uh, uh, the oil price is going to one hundred fifty dollars a barrel a year before it happened. I mean, on and on. He says green light to attack Iran. Uh, that it's all going towards that. Uh, a miracle could stop it, I guess. I mean, just that'll all be written up this weekend at prisonplanet.com and infowars.com, but that was huge. But in the last 15 minutes, uh, I want to go to Paul Dornanu, again, with infocon.ro from Romania. And we have the Bilderberg Group photos. We'll put some of those on screen that he just sent us of uh, Wolftonson and uh, the former head of the World Bank and others, Bill Gates, uh, that are there. Uh, but Mr. Dornanu, thank you for being there in Spain uh, to uh, cover this, sir, uh, uh, break down what you've witnessed. Hi, Alex. Uh, thank you for having me on your show. Uh, right now I'm right here in front of the police barricade in Sirgis, uh where it goes to the Dolce Hotel. And I might add that this is actually my third uh, Bilderberg coverage. So far, last year we've been detained in uh, Greece. But um, this time in uh, Sirgis, Basically, um, uh, we haven't had such problems like uh, last year. Even the security is higher. The, the police here, here was uh, nicer with us. Uh, they didn't, uh, you know, uh, take us away. Or we basically just sit here in this roundabout and uh, manage to get some, uh, actually, some uh, some good pictures and manage to identify some people. Well, that's exciting. Uh, and, of course, you've had a chance to talk to some of the other reporters. Any other intel uh, that Tucker didn't cover here. I mean, you may not have been listening, uh, but but w what's some of the news the reporters are telling you uh, that are there on the ground? Uh, I've heard there's quite a bit of media coverage. Yes, uh, the coverage is, uh, I would say, extraordinary compared to the uh, previous years in Greece and uh, Istanbul because uh, I could see even yesterday and today, like up to five or six um, TV station broadcasting live from right here from uh, in front of the entrance of uh, the hotel where the, where the police barricade is. So basically, I'm uh, uh, very, very surprised uh, to see that happening. And not only that, I can see lots of people coming from other countries like Portugal. France, UK, Belgium, Czech Republic, United States, lots and lots of people, independent media or uh, just regular people coming here and offering their support, coming with the cameras, video cameras and trying to help in a way or another. And I even met uh, yesterday and today and had an interview with Estelin, Daniel Estelin. And actually another reporter, uh, documentary maker who has some very, very good information. And he was in uh, back in Italy in 2004. Uh, if you remember, they, uh, they were able to make there some very good photos. 
he also got some very good video pictures with them sitting at tables, talking to people and uh, going on the boat, on a trip boat. And he's preparing these videos for a documentary to be released at the end of uh, this year, uh, Extraordinary Images. And uh, what's important is that he was actually able to go inside the hotel on Sunday right after when they were uh, leaving, and he was able to see and look at documents that i never seen before about attendee list, about uh, uh, private conversation between doing emails, uh, private notes. Is this uh, this year, or, or are you saying year, yeah. uh, 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 in years past? This was from 2004. But okay, this so this documentary filmmaker, uh, uh, yeah. where are they from?